I've been way behind on uploading content lately since February. I started to do my period vlog or my what I wore this month video, and I had a nice normal period. I had two cups that I had already in queue, which were the prism cups and the refresh cups, with some higher capacity cups thrown in there if my period was heavy and I needed to leave the house. When my period ended, I closed out the video and went to go edit it, and then the following week I started to bleed again. I bled for a few days, and then when it ended, I included that in my video, and when I started to edit that, I started to bleed again. Long story short, uh, I just kind of threw out all of that footage because it ended up being a very long period, or cutting in and out of my period, and a very long video. But I did want to share the experience that I had with the prism and the refresh cup, so if you're curious to hear how it went, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The Prism Cup is very similar in color to the Yuki Rainbow Lines, but the colors are a little bit more uh, pastel-y, I guess. The overall shape, size, length, and diameter are all different than the Yuki Cups. I chose to use both of these cups at the same time, well, not at the same time, but during the same period, because they were kind of similar in shape, size, length, and diameter. The Prism Cup is based in the United States, and the Refresh Cup is based in Germany. However, the packaging on both of them do state that they are made in China. I'm going to break this video up into two parts. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the prism cup first, tell you about how the inserting, wearing, and removal process went, and then the second half will be the same for the refresh cup. If you want to skip ahead to the information about the refresh cup, you can find the timestamp down below. My cervix stayed on the higher side while I used this cup. It didn't drop low enough where I felt that I needed to use the small size. So for the duration of my period that I did use the prism cup, I only used the large. I've heard some complaints about the rim of this cup being really narrow and kind of sharp and pokey. Um, but when I folded the cup up, I didn't feel that when I was inserting it. This cup isn't extremely soft. If I had to give it a rating from one to five, five being the most firm, this cup would be about a 2.5 to three for the body and a definite three for me on the rim. I used the C-fold just because it was easy one-handed. I didn't insert the cup completely in. I left uh, just about to the grip rings uh, still outside of my body before I allowed the cup to open. I didn't have any problems using that method. It popped open just fine. I didn't have to coax it in any way or push it to my vaginal wall. And once it was open, I was able to use a finger to maneuver it up into place. For the most part, wearing the prism cup was comfortable. I didn't feel it except for maybe the stem area and or the base of the cup. I could feel it if I coughed or sneezed. I've been on and off sick since before Christmas time and I'm actually sick now. And also our pollen content is really high. So I'm coughing and sneezing. So every time I bear down, the cup kind of gets pushed downward and I can feel it at the opening of of my vagina. I know I've said this many times, but it would probably would have been no problem if I trimmed the stem off. Removing the prism cup is the only part that I had a little bit of issues with. I didn't get a really strong seal with it. It did create a slight seal. The holes on this cup I would consider a large hole, so when I pinched the base I could feel a, a small air escape and I was able to slide it down. It's when the rim got closer to the opening of my vagina where I felt that um, sharp scratchy feeling and I had to insert a finger to cave the body and the rim down just a little bit so that the cup rim didn't drag against me on the way out. 
once I knew to do that, I didn't have any other problems with removing the cup the rest of the time that I wore it. The Refresh cup is softer than the Prism cup. I would say that the body on this cup is about a 2, and the rim would be like a 2.5. The silicone of the Refresh cup is more of that uh, frosted type instead of that clear, smooth feeling that the Prism has similar to the Yuki cup. The rim on the Refresh Cup is a bit more meaty, so it doesn't have that kind of pokey, scratchy feeling, and is a little bit more rounded. Since the Refresh Cup is softer, I had an easier time folding it, not that I had any problems with the Prism Cup. Again, I only inserted this cup partially in before I allowed it to open up, and it did open a little slower than the Prism Cup because it's softer. I still didn't have to push it to my vaginal wall to create a void for it to open, but it did take a little bit more time, not much, but I was in and out of the bathroom quicker while using the Prism Cup than the Refresh Cup. Wearing it was comfortable for me. Actually, this one was more comfortable for me than the Prism Cup when I coughed or sneezed. The stem might have poked out, but it is softer and more stretchy than the stem on the Prism Cup. There were a couple of times that I coughed or sneezed and I could feel the air kind of getting displaced. I'm thinking because the cup is softer, it just kind of burped it a little bit, but I didn't experience any leaking. And I forgot to mention, but I would consider the holes on the Refresh Cup to be small. Although the holes are small, it didn't create a really tight seal. I would say it was about the same as the Prism Cup for me, so I didn't have any problems pinching the base to remove it. I also didn't have to take extra care to collapse the body and rim at all, as the rim is a little bit wider or more meaty and rounded. I didn't have that drag or scratchiness on the way out. I would say that both of these cups seem to be well made. I can't guarantee the materials. You'll have to do your own research and make that decision for yourself. My content is not to verify that a cup is safe. It's just to share my experience or my thoughts about a specific cup. And with all cups, not just these, you use them at your own risk. Anyhow, that's all I have for now about the Prisma Cup and the Refresh Cup. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions go ahead and leave me a comment down below also leave me a comment down below if you picked up the prism cup because you like the colors or maybe the yuki was a tad bit too long or wide for you until i see you next time take care